Yo, what's good with y'all today? I'm about to show you guys how to make a teleport command. Well, not teleport, a TP command, like pretty much a bring command. Pretty much. You type in TP, then the player's username, it brings the player to you and stuff. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, we're going to go over to server script service and insert a server script. We can name this TP command script. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have noticed in my old videos I use a lot of like the way I did certain things I could have done things so much better and stuff like even with my last video about how I made it on a command when I didn't make it on my, not my last video it was two videos ago what I made it on a command and so I found an easier way to even to make it so it matches the prefix and stuff but yeah you guys are about to see what I'm talking about before I get straight into the video I just want to quickly remind you guys I, I have a new discord server set up the link is in the uh, description and stuff you guys can join to to chill and to chill um you can ask for help with scripting or other roblox dev shit um you guys can there's one more thing oh yeah you guys can see just videos for me and stuff in there as well and then i have a roblox group in the description and stuff and yeah though we trying to grow the disc grade for what i'm saying yeah though i appreciate you guys for for watching it yeah, let's get straight into it <clears throat> all right first things first you're gonna need you're gonna, you're gonna need your, your prefix so we're gonna make a variable local prefix is equal to then we'll do we're gonna do tp well we'll use lowercase and then put a space make sure you put a space here this space is gonna be like when a player because like when a player is typing a command you don't do tp and like the player's username you do tp space then the player's username so yeah, that's why you want to put the space right there. And then you guys are going to do game dot players dot player added connect function player then player dot chatted connect function msg which is short for message. And then you guys are going to want to make variables local first word is equal to. So here's where it comes where like things like going different. We're doing string instead of sub we're doing we're doing match string match. Our string is message of course then the pattern is prefix we're looking to see what from what from um the message matches the string which is prefix the string of prefix which is tp then local second word is a string split so we're gonna do string dot split and then we're gonna separate it by message and prefix we're breaking up the entire message we're breaking up uh, the entire message the player says like we're gonna separate the prefix and then whatever is said afterwards Obviously since you're using a t the TP command and stuff There's no re you don't need to add like it's not like you're banning or kicking someone you need to add a reason or something You're literally just doing the prefix TP and then just the username. That's it. So So this will work for, good for this then you could just do enter twice then we could then let's get a four I That's not used before you get a four I V in pairs loop then we're gonna do game dot workspace get children do okay. And then what we're gonna do is if v dot name is equal to second word. Now keep in mind, pay attention to this guy. Pay attention to this. First, make sure you do second word, not first word, right? And then you see how it has these these like we call, I call these special brackets. But yeah, you guys see how it has these special brackets and stuff. This means it's more than one. Like it's more than one. I'm um, like. I don't really know how to explain it, but to put it simply, there's there's multiple there's a multiple data inside of this one string. If that kind of makes sense, like you have one set of data, two sets, like you know what I'm saying. So we want to we want to get the second. The second is what you're saying after the prefix. So let's do that. So if their username matches like what was what was said the the uh, what the player said, then you're gonna do you want to get the player. You want to get both characters actually. So first you'll get we'll get our character first. <clears throat> like the person who initiated the function and stuff. Local character equals game dot workspace, find first child, player dot name, which is us. Then our target character, the, the player we want to teleport over here. Target character is equal to pretty much the same thing. And then you do in the workspace find first child. And then v dot name since it would already ran through it if it matched if it matched or not and then we're gonna click enter and 
Oh, my fault, guys. Do not put that there. My fault. I don't mean to put that there. And then what you guys are going to do is... Here's another thing, by the way, of what I was talking about when I said, like, I did things different before in other videos, which is, like, not the best way to do about things. So if you guys look back to my older videos where you see TP, any type of, any form of, like, teleporting or whatever, you would see me move the humanoid root part, which is not a, it's not a good way to go about it. Like, unless you're, like... If you're trying to move a character, it's not a good way to move the humanoid root part. Because it's only going to move that certain part. Like, it'll move, it'll teleport the player. But, like, in actuality, it's going to, like, kind of stretch their body to where, like, the rest of their body is still left over there. What's a better thing to do is to do, this won't autofill, by the way. So, make sure you do move to, then you would put your position here, which would be character now you can do character to humanoid root part you can teleport to whatever position you want teleporting to whatever position you want doesn't matter it's whatever you're using to teleport and stuff it's not good to do target character dot humanoid root part or whatever dot position equals like no you need to do you need to use move too that's just just a little advice or whatever and stuff but yeah though so um well obviously i can't test this well obviously i can't test this just by myself so I will go, I will start up a test so you guys can see. Well, actually, well, actually, no, actually, no, I don't, I don't even need to start up a test. Actually, I don't need to do a test. Actually, what I can actually just do is you guys can also test this this way. If you want to, you could do test. You could just test it with, with uh, like, you know, using the test uh, feature, but you could also just build a rig. You could just get a rig and then Keep in mind if you like make sure you get the right type because you need one that has human root part and then literally if we click play even though it's not a real player all that matters is that it's in the workspace and that it has a human root part if i do tp dummy as you guys can see the dummy teleports to me there you go obviously it's gonna float in the air because it's a keep in mind it's a, um what's it called it's a uh, it's a rig it's not an actual player an actual player like when i move my head and stuff they're gonna like fall down obviously it's only just i guess you could say like standing on air i guess you could say is because it's anchored and it's not an actual uh what's it called player and stuff but yeah though that's how you make a tp command and stuff yeah appreciate you guys for watching as always uh, join the discord and the roblox group links are in the description and stuff yeah i think i think the discord is at, like 10 members now i just set up my staff team and stuff and uh, yeah and stuff I'm trying to grow it and, and yeah i appreciate the support we're already at 170 subscribers let's try to get a 200 like we move we move for real for real. i appreciate you guys for that don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if this video was helpful um yeah join the discord and, and suggest some videos because for sure i do need some suggestions i'm trying to think of content for you guys because or, or leave a comment like no i'm serious like if y'all literally have something y'all really want to see like a developer like just like or a youtuber a, a scripting tutorial or whatever leave a link i mean not leave a link leave leave the suggestion in the description or in my discord because like no I, I just need suggestions and stuff like just tell me what you want and i'm gonna and i probably could do it whatever it is and stuff and then yeah though hope this video was helpful and yeah i'll see y'all appreciate y'all for watching